Hi right, guys, uh, Lee here from Paramount Fitness. Um, I'm just about to go a bit next door into the studio to speak with strength and conditioning coach Dan Thorpe. We're going to bring to you this week three tips in how to improve your squat. Okay then Dan, can you give the guys say three tips to improve their squat um, for any lads that want to you know, be able to, to squat more or um, are finding squatting difficult at the minute? Right, when we talk about squat, we're talking about back squat, barbell on the back, in the cage, squatting properly. Not kettlebell front squat, not body weight squat, not air squats, proper squats. Okay? You want to get the most out of your squat, you've got to squat full range. Okay? That means all the way to the floor. Okay? As close to the floor as we can get. You want to get the hamstrings to cover the calves. Okay? Now obviously that might be a problem for a lot of people. Mobility is a problem for a lot of people, okay? So if that is a problem, if that is an issue, you've got to work mobility, okay? A lot of the problems occur around, that, around the ankle, around the calf, so foam rolling, calf stretching, increasing that range. While you're working on increasing that range, taking a simple, simple bit of kit, such as a high wedge board like this, or some blocks, or even, even at your local gym, get a couple of plates underneath the heel just to raise them up a little bit will give you an, an increased range while you're squatting. Um, another tip where people struggle in the back squat is simply getting into position, simply getting their hands onto the barbell. Okay? Ideal position for when you're in a back squat is you want, is you want hands quite tight. Okay? So we don't want to be seeing people squatting out wide in this position, okay? That suggests quite an adequate range of motion around the chest, okay? So another way to increase that squat is work on mobility at the chest, okay? Basic chest exercises, basic chest stretches, doing everything full range, okay? Increasing mobility of chest and ankles will help an increased range of motion in the squat, okay? Make sense? Right, moving on to number two. Like I said before, when we bring the hands in, okay, that gives us a better ability to get tight. Okay? When you squat and you're squatting with uh, increasing the heavy loads, you need to learn how to get the body tight. That includes breathing right, that includes getting the lower back, getting the chest up and the whole back tight. Okay? You get that right and your squat's going to shoot up. Okay? So breathing properly, big deep breath before the squat and keeping tight all the way throughout. Really keeping those elbows pulled down and the back tight, chest up. Eyes looking just above natural eye level helps keep you a little bit taller. Okay, um, that's just a quick simple one. Number three, okay, is foot position. A lot of people talk about foot position. Um, I wouldn't say there's one set foot position. Um, my squat will be very different to your squat, okay? Some people like to squat narrow stance, and you'll see them, they'll be able to squat narrow stance all the way to the floor, not a problem, okay? So my tip for this one is find the groove, find your groove, okay? You will find your position which enables you to keep tall, which enables you to keep tight, and allow you to get full range in the, in the squat. So you've got to play around with your foot position a little bit. Work from a parallel stance, foot position. So parallel stance down here, work to a little bit of a, Tend to a little bit of a duck stand squat, and always remember knees out, nice and tall, okay? And then as you take your downward face, start at the knees and then sink in through the hips, all right? So work on that foot position, find your groove, find your pattern. Let's try and take it up a little bit. <laughs>